Hi guys, this is Naomi here. I'm Audi. And this is Martha. And we are from the Giraffe, Giraffe Conservation, Conservation Foundation. Foundation. We want to teach you guys about the environment. So join us over the next 10 episodes while we explore and find ways to protect our environment. Let's get it started! Let's go! Today's topic is about the environment. Do you guys know what an environment is? Of course. Yes. An environment is wherever you are. And everything else that surrounds you. Right. That means that when you are at home, that's your home environment. When you are at school, that's your school environment. And when you are in nature, it means that you are in your natural environment. Okay? But now let's look around and see. What kind of environment are we in right now? Follow me. Guys, I'm actually standing in a natural environment right here. But how do I know that? I know that because I'm surrounded by a lot of different trees and I'm seeing some wild animals over there and I can hear a lot of birds chatting. I cannot see buildings here. I can't see cars. I can't see hospitals. I can't see schools. I can't see roads or factories. environments there are living things and non-living things let me start with the living things now the living things are everything that is alive okay and they grow think of when you were a baby now you have grown and you continue to grow they reproduce which means they can have babies they adapt to their environment which means they change according to whatever environment they find themselves in and they even eat to get energy but now, what about the non-living things? How do you tell something is non-living? Okay, so the non-living things don't do the other things that living things do, which means they don't grow, they don't eat to get energy, and they can't even have babies. And the non-living things are divided into two categories, and we have natural non-living things and man-made things. Now, the natural non-living things are the ones that we naturally find in our environments, like the sun, the soil, water, and air. And then the man-made are the ones that are made by people. And examples of those are like our pencils, cars, and even this shirt I'm wearing. So let's quickly look in this environment and see what living things and unliving things we can find. So we have found the Camerton tree right here. So let's figure out whether this tree is living or non-living. Okay. So I know this tree is living because it has grown. I know it makes its own food by getting energy from the sun. I know it reproduces because I can see some seedlings here, young ones. And I also know that it has adapted because it's doing so well in this environment. So this tree is definitely a living thing. Alright. Oh, look here. I found a cricket. I know this cricket is living because it's moving. And it's eating to get some energy. And also, I can see it's breathing. Hi, cricket. I was just wondering, how do these living things survive in an environment? Well, what I know about living things is that they have five basic needs. All the five basic needs of all living things. 
and they are such as water, air, food, sunlight, and the other one is... Um, and a home! Oh, and a home. Did you guys know that different living things uses the five basic needs in different ways? Did you know? For example, let's take water. Think about the most important thing that us people do with water. We drink it, right? But if you think of a fish, the most important thing that a fish gets from water, it's a home. You see, that's how living things use the five basic needs in different ways. I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode learning about what an environment is and what to find in an environment. So make sure to join us in our next episode when we learn about the ecosystems. See you soon. Thank you. We're good. Thank you.